Nipah virus, a new name for the terror and the panic attack which has engulfed nearly the whole of the country due to very serious health threats as well as a very high death rate. As of now, it has claimed about 12 lives in the state of Kerala in the very recent outbreak. This terror wave started first of all in the southernmost part of India in the Kozi Kode district of Kerala and then it set the alarm bells ringing in the Central Health Ministry in New Delhi. Being a doctor, a medical practitioner, I consider it my utmost moral responsibility to provide you with authentic scientific medical information regarding this deadly virus, the Nipah virus. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shruti and welcome once again to Dr. Shruti's channel. A channel to help you stay healthy and stay happy. Let's get started. For the latest updates on this deadly virus, the Nipah virus, do watch the video till the very end. First, let us have a very brief look at the history of this Nipah virus. This virus was first of all detected in 1998 in Malaysia in a village named Kampong Sungai Nipah from where it derives its name Nipah. This was then followed by an outbreak in Singapore in 1999 and then another outbreak in Bangladesh in 2004. In India, there have been two periodic outbreaks in 2001 and 2007 in West Bengal. This virus has created a panic attack due to a very high mortality, a very high death rate of as high as 40 to 75 percent in the past. Whereas in the outbreaks in the Malaysia and Singapore, animal to human transmission was reported. In the outbreaks in Bangladesh, India, even human to human transmission has been reported. First, let us have a look at the symptoms of this virus. After an incubation period of 5 to 14 days, that is after a person comes in contact with an infected person, then after 5 to 14 days, the person might develop fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, muscle pain and sore throat. This can then be followed by drowsiness, dizziness, altered consciousness and neurological signs which might indicate encephalitis, that is the infection of the brain. In some patients, there might be respiratory symptoms in the form of coughing, sneezing, atypical pneumonia or even respiratory distress. If the patient is not taken proper care of, then the patient might land up in seizures followed by coma within a short span of as little as 24 to 48 hours. Coming to the prevention and treatment part, as it is rightly said that the prevention is always better than the cure. So point number one. At all costs, stay away from the bodily secretions of the infected person. Stay away from the coughing and sneezing infected person. If you have any of the above mentioned signs and symptoms uh, that might indicate the infection with the Nipah virus and you might fear that you are infected with the virus, get yourself tested immediately at a certified health center. Do not eat the raw fruits and vegetables that might be suspected of being bitten or being eaten by the animals as the animals are the carriers for this virus. Take care to feed the domestic animals indoors as your domestic animals might feed on the fruits and vegetables that might be infected with the virus. Do wash your hands thoroughly to avoid coming in contact with the bodily secretions of the infected persons. As for the health professionals, they should always always take care to wear the face mask and gloves and thus protect themselves. The main carrier for the Nipah virus are the fruit bags, the bags that feed on the fruits. So in endemic areas where a lot of cases are being detected uh, such as in Kerala, the people should avoid taking the date palm sap as the fruit bags uh, they feed on these date palms. Coming to the treatment part, the sad news is that up till now no specific drug or vaccine has been available to fight against this deadly virus. So the palliative care or intensive supportive care for the infected person remains the cornerstone of treatment as of now. For the latest update, WHO has stated that a vaccine is being developed to fight against this deadly virus. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's wait for the good news. Secondly, up to now, it was only being stated that this infection is being caused by feeding on the date palm sap which is infected by the Nipah virus through the fruit bags. But the very latest report of today, it claims that it might also be due to the contamination of the well water where about 500 to thousands of bats were found in Kerala. 
So friends, this was in total about the symptoms, the prevention and the treatment about the deadly Nipah virus. If you found this video useful and found this authentic medical information useful, do share it with your friends and relatives and thus fulfill your social responsibilities as well. See you all soon in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and stay happy and bye-bye for now.